Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Amy if you're new here and today we have a Iron Man tracksuit cricket DIY. That's a bit of a mouthful but I'm going to Disneyland on the 2nd of December and I want an Iron Man outfit um, and yeah I'm going to make it on my cricket. I've got some thrifted clothes I'm going to use so without further ado let's get these started. Right, so we are going to start off with a black hoodie. Obviously, you can use any colour of choice. I actually chose a black hoodie because I have lots of black tracksuit bombs I thought I could put the hoodie with. I got this one from Scope and it was £5, so I'm just going to take the tag out of that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually measure how big I want the graphic on the back to be i think i want it to go across the whole width of the back so let's i'm going to use this kind of as a guide this is our mat this is literally the second thing i've done on this so i don't know if that's ambitious to go for quite a big project for the second thing but i am thinking i want it to kind of cover the whole of the back kind of as much as possible so i think i'm going to use a whole thing of vinyl and try and get it to cover up the whole thing so that's let's grab my vinyl color so I got this pack of heat transfer vinyl on Amazon and I believe it was £20 and you get 26 sheets. So let's grab the colour. So as I'm doing kind of that Iron Man style look, I'm going to go for this red as I think that'd be really cute. So I'm just going to pop that on here. So as you can see, unless I do it that way, um, which I think I'm going to have to, um, that's kind of as big as my vinyl is, as I've only got this sheet. Um, so I think the graphic is going to kind of go across the back kind of centre portion. But I think I am going to do it this way. So first off, I'm just going to pop this sticky side down on the mat once I've taken off the mat protector. So shiny side down. I'm just going to line this up as best as possible in my kind of top corner this bit you might have to take put on and peel off a couple of times just to get it exactly how you want it i always find this the hardest thing and so this is literally my second project but i literally went on a hunt yesterday for a black jumper and couldn't find one so i was happy to find one right let me stick this on and i'll come back to you okay so once you've got it on your mat just press it down nice and firm all the way down just to check that it is all stuck now you're going to turn on your cricket by just pressing the on button let me put the plug on so yeah, you're just going to press this on button here and then the open button over there, which will open up your Cricut. Then you're going to grab your piece of vinyl, which I've just noticed mine has a couple of bubbles in, so you might want to hold it up to the light. Just check it's all smoothly down and you're just going to kind of place it underneath these two little grooves you see there and there and then you're just going to press this arrow here which is just the button to get the vinyl into place i've got mine set as an iron on setting on here now for the terms of the actual cricket design space um i am going to leave a kind of screen recording here of what i did but i also am going to try and put the link to the picture i use so you can just kind of upload that but how i did it i went on canva and typed in kind of the made the design I want on Canva with just a white background. Then I went on to a background eraser tool and just erased the background. Then I put it onto my Cricut and sized it for the size I need. I then flipped it as in like kind of mirrored it. So when I iron it onto my actual jumper, it'll be the right way round. Now, I need to actually send this over to my Cricut and then we can start cutting. I would interject here to say I've made a little bit of a mistake on this one so I'm not actually quite sure how it's going to turn out. I basically thought I'd have some lunch while this was cutting out and I closed the tabs on my phone and went downstairs uh, which is so stupid because it's Bluetooth connected. So I've set it to recut again. It was basically nearly done which is super annoying um, but yeah I've set it to cut again but as you can see it's kind of really fraying up little bits. This is my only set. This is my second project I've made so I'm hoping it's going to be okay, but just thought I'd let you know that. Don't make that rookie error of bringing your phone downstairs and disconnecting the Bluetooth. Okay, right now we're going to press this arrow button to take it out. 
Right, I really hope this is going to work. I hope these little bits are bits I don't really need. Um, this is what it's meant to look like. So very, very tidy. This is where I've gone over it twice because that was my own stupid mistake. Ignore my appearance. But let's go peel this and hope that it goes okay. So to get the design ready to iron on, you do actually have to kind of take off all of the bits you don't want. This is quite a long, tedious process, but I find whack on some music and it'll be quite satisfying and quite fun. Um, so you're going to take off the kind of the edges to start. Now you can buy a special weeding tool, it's called. This is eight pounds and I thought this looked quite similar. This is just my nail art dotting tool. So I'm actually gonna use this. And I've also come into the beauty room because I've got this really great lamp that's super, super bright and it just shows up any lines. So you wanna be in good lighting for this just to make it a little bit easier. But yeah, I'm gonna whack you on a time lapse and I'm gonna spend quite a long time getting all these bits off and hopefully I don't make any mistakes and get off things I don't want to be off. So I've picked off all of the little pieces. I did take quite a while but it would have been a lot quicker if I hadn't done it twice because as you can see the little bits that were coming up i just went through with a pair of tweezers and got them all up so now it's looking super clear it's time to take it off the mat so to do this i actually suggest kind of taking the mat off the transfer tape sort of thing but i'm going to just do it like this um as i think that's going to be easier although maybe i will try i don't know i'm just going to peel it i am just going to peel it And there we go. There is our design ready to go on the jumper. I'm sure to leave it up like that so the sticky side doesn't get stuck to anything. I say that I'm just stuck it back on the pad. But I'm going to put it like that. And then let's take this downstairs and iron it on. Okay, so we're downstairs. I've got the iron on getting hot. So I'm just going to get my jumper and lay it flat. Obviously, this design is going on the back. But you basically just need to put your design on your thing, whatever you're putting on, t-shirt jumper whatever it is and just smooth out the material i think i want mine kind of halfway down i think and then just kind of in the middle so we'll just flatten this out and i mean they do say to kind of work out exactly where you want it but i think i'm just gonna eyeball it which is probably a silly thing to do let's move you back so you can kind of see a bit more but yeah i'm just gonna eyeball it to be honest um as I do with most of my projects, the iron needs to be really hot. So it's another thing to bear in mind. But I'm just going to try and get this as straight as possible. Now, I can't remember. Well, it doesn't actually say on the instructions of this um, iron-on transfer if you need to warm up the material before you start. But I am just going to give it the tiniest bit of an iron before literally just go over it once. And then I'm going to get my design and put it sticky side down exactly where you want it on the jumper. Going to guess about there. Um, you do want to try and keep it like not as little fluff and stuff as you possibly can underneath. I think that's kind of impossible. So I think that's how I like it placed. So I'm then just going to get a white pillowcase and pop that over the top this just protects it i think and protects your iron um so i'm just gonna put that over the top and i'm gonna iron it for about 30 seconds on each area and then check it and just keep on doing that until it's on then you are going to want to take off your pillowcase and just gently start peeling back your Sticky up plastic, if you see like that, it's still stuck to the plastic. You want to just iron it for a little bit longer. So now it's all peeled off. I'm just going to put the pillowcase back on top of it and give it another iron over just to really seal it in. Okay, so this is the back all finished. So I'm now just going to print out or cut out on my Cricut two little Iron Man like silhouette figure thing to go on the front and like a little emblem on the front and then on the bottom of my tracksuit bottoms, well on the top of my tracksuit bottoms like here-ish. So let's cut them out. Oh 
hold this up to the light to see if you can see a little better. I can think you can kind of just about see where the end of the line stops. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the bits of the vinyl that I don't need. So I just want to lift it up and cut off the bits I don't need and then just leave kind of a border around my actual Iron Man figures. Now I have just cut off the excess vinyl. I'm going to use the same little dotting tool to get off all of the excess into what I'm left with just my two Iron Man figures. I'm then gonna cut them in half then. Um, so I have my two set of figures, one for the front of the jumper and one for the tracksy bottoms. So much easier than doing the letters. That literally took me 10 seconds because it was literally just this big bit and then a little bit there and obviously the bit surrounding it. And also not cutting it twice meant it was a lot easier. Um, so I'm gonna now cut these in half and then I can iron them on to the jogging bottoms and the hoodie and then we're done i'm literally so excited for this also i flipped the mirror like flipped this to be mirror image but obviously it doesn't matter because it's symmetrical either way um but just remember to flip your images um obviously on ones like this you don't need to but just thought i'd put in a reminder now and also this dotting tool is working really really well so if you are in if you've just got a cricket and you want to keep costs down if you already have a dotting tool this works really well and if you don't you can buy dotting tools super 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 cheap a lot cheaper than the eight pound they want for a cricket one so yeah definitely recommend this and also what i've done is i actually just put a bit of tissue beside it and i put all of my scraps on there and yeah they're all my top tips at the moment let's get these on also just a quick side note um, when I ironed it on, it took me quite a long time to iron on the other bit. I ended up swapping out the pillowcase for a bit of greaseproof paper and that worked really well and just applying quite a lot of pressure. So I think it's a trialing error all different ways i use natural iron rather than the easy press that you can buy but i just thought i'd pop that in there just in case um just persevere and it, it will work eventually i think mine probably took about 15 to 20 minutes to actually get it on um so just bear that in mind and here is the final product i am so happy let me show you the back i hope you can see that well let me pull it down it says i love you 3000 on the back we've got the iron man little emblem thing there and there um yeah i'm so happy with it i think it turned out really well of my second project with my cricket i am in love with this and i can't wait to make more um i love it thank you so much for watching um if you want any more projects then definitely let me know and um, maybe i'll do like a cricket christmas gift guide i don't know but i'm so happy with this and yeah i'll see you in my next one bye